Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a follow-up to my previous video sharing a few popular wedding manicure colors. So if you are getting married soon and you're still on the hunt for the perfect color to paint your nails, go check that video out. But today we're gonna talk a little bit about preparing your nails for your wedding day. There is so much beauty prep leading up to a wedding between hair, skin, body, and a lot of times the nails just slip right through the cracks. Depending on what you want your nails to look like for your big day, there may be a little more or a little less prep involved, but today I'm going to share a few things that you should consider doing if you are trying to transform and whip your nails into shape for your wedding day. Before I dive into this list, I am still wearing Morgan Taylor's Pretty as a Pink Chur. I painted this color on my April Live and I am still wearing and loving it. Let's dive into this list. First up, determine your ideal nail shape. Do you want your nails to look like they do every day? Do you want to grow them a little longer? Are you trying to go with a square, rounded, or almond shape? Once you can identify the look you're going for, you can then create the perfect routine and manicure maintenance to get your nails into the perfect shape. Number two, about two months before your wedding is when you wanna start paying attention to your nails, when you really wanna start upping the care, upping the maintenance, and getting them to a good place. I I found that one month is really sufficient for me to completely rehab my nails, but for a wedding you want to give yourself a little more buffer time to get them altar ready. Okay, number three, no biting and no clipping. And I'm not just talking about your fingernails, I'm talking about your cuticles as well. You want to stay away from any kind of nipping tools or nail clippers, especially if you're trying to grow your nails, but taking care of the skin around the nail is just as important as the nail itself. Number four, my favorite, it should be number one, cuticle care. Make sure you're moisturizing, hydrating, oiling, and just tending to your cuticles every single day. I love cuticle oil. I encourage everyone to use it regularly if you're not already doing so, but especially brides-to-be. When you wake up in the morning, apply a little cuticle oil. At lunchtime, apply a little cuticle oil. Before you go to bed, apply a little cuticle oil. This is going to make the biggest difference in the health of your fingernails and cuticles. It's a non-negotiable. While we're talking about cuticle care, we also wanna pay attention to our regular hand care. So make sure that you're exfoliating, moisturizing, and using lotions on a daily basis. You wanna keep your hands soft and photo ready. So again, be careful too. Like if you're cleaning your car, cleaning your house, try to wear gloves so that you don't scrape or scratch your hands. The last thing you want is any bruises or cuts. Just take a little extra extra care leading up to your wedding day. Okay, number five, when it comes time to select a color for your wedding manicure, I would recommend a gel, a shellac, or an acrylic manicure. You want something that's going to last. Do not want to get a regular manicure. I mean, you can if you want. If it's not that important to you, go for it. But one of these manicures is just going to ensure that the polish is as chip resistant as possible. It's as strong as possible. It's not going to budge. It's not going to flake. It's not going to crack. You're going to be in better hands, no pun intended, if you go with one of these options. Options. So it's totally a personal choice, but that is just one of my recommendations. If you're not comfortable getting a full gel manicure, I would recommend Acra Gel or Gel Overlays. I talk about these a lot on my channel. You can check out some of my videos demonstrating how to do this. I'll link them below. But it's basically a base coat of gel polish or gel and acrylic powder combined to give you that strength that a gel manicure provides. So it's going to help your nails stay strong, keep them from breaking, and then it's actually going to retain the polish better as well. You're going to find that nails with this kind of base, don't chip, don't flake, and have a much longer shelf life. Is that the word? Shelf life? They just have a much longer life than a regular manicure would. All right, as wedding day approaches, you might be wondering when should I paint my nails? I would recommend getting your manicure done one to two days before your wedding. We know there's a lot of prep involved with setting up for a wedding, so try to do as much of that beforehand as you can. Pack the car, drop off items at your venue, and then get your manicure. Try to do as much setup in advance as possible. Again, a gel or shellac manicure should not chip. It should be completely resistant to all these activities, so I wouldn't worry about that too much, but it is always good to get as much done in advance as possible. Hey, this is Editing Amanda here, and I just realized that one of my tips got cut short, so I wanted to quickly add it in, and that is to make sure that you get a manicure trial. Even if your nails aren't the desired length and shape that you want them to be, definitely get a trial of the color to make sure that you love it as much as you think you do. Okay, last but not least, don't stress. I know this seems so minuscule 
Uh, your nails seem like such a small blip on the radar, but talking about all these things makes it seem like, oh my gosh, am I prepared for my wedding manicure? <laughs> Don't worry, you're gonna be fine. Do not stress about it. It's going to be the best day of your life, regardless of what your nails look like. Be sure to bring a similar bottle of nail polish in case you do get a chip so you can quickly touch it up. Any nail emergency can be tended to or repaired. Don't worry about it. It's not the end of the world. Your manicure should be the last thing that you're worried about on your wedding day. I know that's so much easier said than done because there is so much that you're worrying about on your wedding day, especially when it comes to the way that you look and feel. But all of the feelings are going to be coming from the inside and you're just going to be on cloud nine. So this video is for my Manny girls who really are trying to whip those nails into shape as they approach their big day. But again, don't stress. That is it for my pre-wedding manicure tips. If you have any tips of your own, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below for other people who are watching this video. I'd love to check them out myself. I'll also link a few of the videos that I mentioned in the description box so you can check those out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!